Hi guys and welcome to VR Essentials. Today, emergency video with some Quest 3 news about resolution display on apparently at Best Buy. So let's find out what all this is about right now. Let's go. So let's go to the article which is uploaded by Upload VR, by the way. And do smash the likes, everybody. Let me know if these are the kind of videos you want me to do. And hit also the notification bell so you don't miss future Time sensitive videos. Quest 3 rumored resolution seemingly confirmed by Best Buy listing. What does this all mean? High resolution displays. And by the way, guys, we know that Quest 2 with version 55 very recently increased the CPU and GPU by up to what was it, 17% or something? I mean, something completely or 19% to really boost the graphics so it just goes to show as what potentially is going to be available with the quest 3 all right let's go back to the article very quickly let's dive down let me just get rid of this there we go so quest 3 is now listed on best buy everybody and the description may confirm its rumored resolution quest 3 officially announced earlier this month meta hasn't yet detailed the full specifications and guys if you go to the meta quest 3 website by the way it is also listed over there so you know we're all getting very excited about this all right so let's go back to the article um but said the visor is 40 percent thinner thanks to pancake lenses so we know that the quest 3 is what pico 4 should be uh, but would it be better than the pico 4 that is the question we're all trying to die to answer the gpu is more than twice as powerful and it has dual it has sorry dual four megapixel color cameras and a depth sensor for scene understanding and mixed reality so mixed reality and spatial computing is definitely something on meta 3's cards to compete of course with the vision pro by apple meta has also revealed the included new touch plus controllers and explained how they track without rings or on board cameras so this was actually something i was trying to ask myself is whether there actually be any cameras on the controllers because as you can see from the actual footage here let me just go back here there we go uh let me just get rid of this you can see there's no cameras and i did say on twitter to meta are there any cameras and they did confirm that they will not be of course any cameras on the actual controllers of the headset itself now meta said quest 3 will have its highest resolution display yet but didn't say the exact display type or resolution almost one year ago though quest firmware data miner samulia discovered a headset code name eureka 865 in the quest firmware with a single 120 hertz 4128 by 2208 lcd panel equating to 2064 by 2008 per eye now that is actually pretty pretty amazing guys that is very very crisp resolution you could definitely say that there will not be any screen door effect whatsoever and the sharpness of what's going to be happening in there the resolution the immersion that you can get now that sounds really really decent almost like I mean, this is PC VR kind of quality. I mean, this is pretty amazing, guys. <laughs> to be very honest with you, for those who are not familiar, um, you know, in the industry, what's interesting about the number is that the data mined 2064 by 202208 figure is exactly 29.6% more pixels than 1832 by 1920 Quest 2's resolution per eye. So let me just get rid of this very quickly. There we go. Um, so basically, here's a table that we could see that compares quest 2 late 2020 quest pro late 2022 and quest 3 so fresno pancake pancake of course uh ipd adjustment three step continuous continuous all right so will it be continuous manually or continuous uh inside of the actual software i have a suspicion it will be software based but let's see what happens pixels per eye 1832 by 1920 1800 by 1920 i can't believe the quest pro's resolution is so crap to be honest with you and 2064 by 2022 to be confirmed screen tap lcd qd lcd with mini ltd uh, led sorry for quest pro and lcd for quest 3 a little bit of a shame there they're not going oled to be honest with you max refresh 120 hertz 90 hertz for the quest pro and uh it will be 120 hertz to be confirmed for quest 3 i would imagine it should be though uh base price 300 dollars a thousand dollars for quest pro can't believe they slashed the price guys i mean all those that bought it before 
were duped and lost $800 or whatever it might be. And Quest 3, $500. That's absolutely amazing considering we thought it was going to cost so much more money. Uh, this would seem to confirm Quest 3 resolution 2064 by 2208 per eye. And given the data mine resolution seems correct, that could suggest that 120 hertz refresh rate is accurate as well. Full details of Quest 3 should be officially confirmed by Connect 2023 on September 2027, guys. So do hit the notification bell as we will most probably do a live stream of Connect, of course, on the channel. Before that, we will be doing hopefully a live stream with Nacy and Steve Nose. I'm trying to make it happen, guys, for you. I'm trying to make it happen. So most probably in August, hopefully that will happen or in late of July. We're going to be organizing some live AMAs with, uh, with Ghost of Tabber. And also I'm talking to the devs of Undead Citadel as well. So guys, plenty to go there. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified of all these cool live streams. And also, of course, tonight, uh, sorry, uh, yes, tonight I'll be posting another video with Through the Lens of the DPVR E4 with Hubris as well. So plenty of content coming up, guys. I'll talk to you very soon. Smash the likes. I lost my words. Never mind. I'll see you in another video very soon. Pleasure to spend some time with you. Bye for now.